Hey guys, welcome back to NBA Knowledge. Today we're going to talk about how the NBA super team culture has led to this, Brooklyn Nets. With the arrival of LaMarcus Aldridge, the Nets head coach Steve Nash has the option to put out a starting five full of players who at one point in their career were NBA All-Stars. Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin, and LaMarcus Aldridge. Collectively, those five players combine for a total of 40 All-Star games. Maybe there are one or two of them that aren't in their prime of their career, but it's still a starting five that is bound to send chills down the spine of any opponent who walks into the Barclays Center. This next squad is just the latest in a long list of super teams constructed by NBA franchises throughout the years. Their objective, conquering the NBA title via the expressway, but does building a super team guarantee a championship? No. If the secret to success was that simple, NBA teams would simply sign the best players, then just sit back and wait to be crowned champs. In reality, it doesn't quite work like that. Although there have been a few success stories around the league of club manufacturing a title team, many others have ended in failure. Because however powerful the project may seem, the loftier the expectations, the bigger the fall. Here is a list of some of the biggest winners and losers from these big money super team gambles. Dream Teams Winners Philadelphia 76ers 1982-86 Although the phenomenon that the NBA super team may seem like a modern idea, teams have been gathering some of the biggest and brightest talents to assemble these dream teams from way back when. One of the first teams to introduce this idea were the Sixers of the 80s. The Philly franchise had just lost in the 1982 NBA Finals when Moses Malone, a three-time league MVP and future Hall of Famer, joined a stacked squad that already included three future Hall of Famers, Julius Irving, Bobby Jones, and Maurice Cheeks. Malone was quoted saying the Sixers would fo 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 in the playoffs, meaning they would sweep every series 4-0. He was wrong, but not by much. They would go on to win the 83 NBA title while going 12-1 in the playoffs, and the center winning finals MVP honors, Los Angeles Lakers 1982-89. The Lakers had already won the championship in the 1980 and 1982 seasons, thanks to legendary duo of Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But it was just after the 82 title that the Lakers built up what would consider in today's terms a super team thanks to the arrival of James Worthy. The Lakers drafted him with the number one pick in the draft, a pick they acquired thanks to a trade with the Cavaliers two years before. Magic, Kareem, and Worthy formed one of the greatest big threes in history. Two of the three are widely considered among the top 10 best players in the history of game. While Worthy was only a seven-time All-Star and MVP of the Finals in 1988, the 88 title would be the last of the three titles won after the construction of the Lakers super team that dominated the NBA in the 80s. Boston Celtics, 1983-1990 The 80s were one of the most important decades in the history of the NBA because of the Lakers-Celtics rivalry. Both franchises had super teams, which they maintained for many years. In Boston, they already had their big three, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish, but with the addition of 1979 Finals MVP Dennis Johnson, the Celtics would go to four straight NBA Finals, 84 to 87, winning two, 1984 and 1986. The quartet remained together for seven years until 1990. Chicago Bulls, 1995 to 1998. The Bulls had already won their first three P before Michael Jordan retired for the first time. When MJ returned, so did the dynasty. But the team that had already won back to back to back championships added something they didn't have up until that moment. Dennis Rodman, a two-time All-Star and twice voted the best defender in the league. He arrived from San Antonio to add another dimension on the defensive side of the ball. Although a lot of questions were raised about his attitude on and off the floor, in Chicago for the most part he behaved himself and proved to be the perfect complement to Jordan and Pippen. Boston Celtics 2007-2012 the Celtics were the first franchise in the modern era to form a super team, or at least the first ones to find success with the formula. They went on from having the worst record in the NBA in 07 to the best record the next year, 66-16, and, and finished it off with beating the Lakers in the finals. A more fitting definition for a super team would be hard to find. Paul Pierce was already a longtime Celtics, but two summer acquisitions left the rest of the league with their jaws on the floor. Ray Allen joined from the Sonics, and Kevin Garnett joined from the T-Wolves. This big three would reach another final in 2010, and would be a constant force to be reckoned with in the playoffs until Ray Allen's departure to the Heat in 2012. Miami Heat 2010-2014 Surely the most controversial of any super team in history, the way that LeBron James announced he was leaving the Cavs 
The decision, broadcasted live on ESPN, left Cleveland fans burning his jerseys and a large majority of fans celebrating the Heat's loss to the Mavericks in the ensuing 2011 Finals. But the Miami Super Team would not be held down for long. They won the next two titles in the next two years, and LeBron picked up two Finals MVP rewards. The three were together for four years, and in every year reached the NBA Finals. Cleveland Cavaliers, 2014 to 2017. Yet again, LeBron was on the nucleus of a super team, this time returning home after a stint in Miami and returning as officially the best player in the game. He, Cleveland, he joined Kyrie Irving, Rookie of the Year in 2012, and Kevin Love, who was traded of the Cavs from Minnesota. Another big three that lasted three years until Kyrie left for Boston, and in all three years reached the finals. Their greatest feat was in 2016 when they won the only title in Cavs history after a historic comeback against the Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors 2016 to 2019. The loss in the 2016 finals was the detonator that led to the next and the last super team which had incredible success in their pursuit of the title. It's true that before that year Golden State already had a fantastic team which with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green won the title in 2015 and had the best record in history of the NBA the next year, 73-9. But the arrival of Kevin Durant turned that team from great to almost unbeatable. Winners of the previous three MVP rewards, one for Durant and two for Curry, together with perhaps the best pure shooter in the league and a relentless defender like Green made for a ferocious foursome. Perhaps the best quartet the NBA has ever seen and without question the best offense ever seen. They took home the title in 2017 and 2018 and in 2019 made the finals, but perhaps because of injuries, fell to the Raptors in Game 6. Dream Teams Failures Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos of ours in the future.